So today's episode, much like the last two episodes, are going to be one very important league game and then some Champions League games, which are also very important. League table-wise, we are still top. We are five points clear. Milan won their game in hand frustratingly, but expectingly. We are going to be playing PSG twice. We are also going to be playing, I want to say Napoli. I think it's Napoli. So another difficult game. We're actually playing Napoli now as well. Also, we have managed to get ourselves into a Coppa Italia final against our feeder team, Sassuolo. And I'm not going to say anything bad, but we should win that one because, you know, we basically own them, right? Don't we? We can just tell them, don't don't try, guys. This is our title. Thank you very much. The starting lineup for the Napoli game then. Carneschi in goal, Livermento, Scalvini, Danso and Vigna. Wrench and Guardiol are not match fit. And I don't want to kind of force them to be match fit because... Particularly with Wrench, he can only play 45 minutes. Gvardiol could play 75. Maybe we could risk Gvardiol, actually. We'll risk Gvardiol. We're going to do Fagioli and Locatelli in the middle. Kulusevski, Chesa, Vlahovic, and Milik as our striking options. Chesa might be leaving in the summer. PSG are interested. I mentioned in the last episode that he spoke to me and said he's thinking about his options once his contract expires. He's got a year left. In the summer is the time to sell. So Napoli's form is up and down, and the reason why it's up and down is because they played PSG and they lost both matches. Our form is looking pretty good, however, that one draw in the middle is the draw that we had in the last episode against Ajax. So, realistically, we're on a very good bit of form. We're always on a good bit of form. Milan have played their match as well for the match weekend, and they won 3-0, which means there are only two points between us and Milan now at the top of the table. They need to lose some games. They need to lose some more games. It's Napoli coming forward after just two minutes. Mario Rui with the ball. It's Cavaradonna in the penalty area, and that's going to be a penalty. We are going to get VAR, but I have no idea why or what happened there. I imagine it will be a penalty. It is a penalty. Carneshi, please, buddy. Carneshi, can you please save this? Who's taken it? It is Politano steps up. Carneshi saves the penalty. Right, this has started off spicy, hasn't it? Politano then with the corner as well. Cleared. Kulusevski gets the ball clear further. That's going to end the highlights. Carneshi saving the day. Free kick for Napoli in a good position. Leo Ostergaard heads over the bar. A player who I had on a former football manager and he was ridiculously good. Fagioli's corner comes in. Milik clears. Vlahovic. I say Milik clears. Vlahovic. Milik didn't clear at all. Milik just headed it across. Locatelli into the penalty area. Vlahovic again has hit the post. Oh, what is happening? Don't be another game where we're just never going to score. Fagioli with another corner. Right-footed towards the middle. It's cleared. Locatelli collects on the volley. It's deflected over the bar. Well over the bar as well, but it's another corner. Fagioli's the man again to take it. One day he's going to be good at these, isn't he? Cross comes in. It's towards Milik at the back. Locatelli picks up the ball. Keeps hold of it as well. Fagioli with some space. Thought he was going to try a shot. Instead, he gets tackled. And Napoli have a free kick. This is... It's all action, isn't it? Milik can't get the ball from Vlahovic. Milik can get the ball, though, from Zielinski. Chesa down the line. Tries to get it past Anguisa, but can't manage it. Gvardiol nicks the ball. Both teams are awful at the moment. Chesa in towards the penalty area. Wrong pass to do. It doesn't matter. Josko Gvardiol has made it 1-0 to Juve. That was all over the place. Right, match stats-wise, we're looking good, aren't we? We're actually looking good. We're having a lot more of the possession... Their XG is high, but that's a penalty. That's what a penalty does. It boosts your XG. We're actually looking pretty good. We just need to get the goals. Half time then it is at 1-0. Gvardiol's goal is the only difference between the sides. We're doing well. I'm going to say that. It's a risk because sometimes you say that and we're not actually doing well. I think we are. We've had 14 shots. Only three of them have been on target though. Scalvini to Livramento. Fagioli, Kulosevsky, Livramento's carried on his run. Instead, it's towards Chaser and it's... We've hit the bar again. Can we see how many times we've hit the bar? Is that possible? Napoli with a chance 10 minutes into the second half. Zielinski, ball forward. Scalvini. Oh, what were you doing, Scalvini? Cavaradona's effort was blocked, I think, by Livramento. So we managed to dodge that one. Rui, Mario Rui with the corner. It's a header clear from Kevin Danso. Napoli is starting to come back into this game, but they're still not really having good chances, are they? Alex Merritt with the free kick for Napoli. Vlahovic gets there first. Zamba and Guiso. 
It's Vlahovic again, though. Nicks the ball off the form of Fulham man. Chaser to Tino Livramento. Goes running forward. Gvardio again. Can he get his second of the game? We've hit the bar again. Pretty sure that's the third time we've hit the bar in this match. Right, time for some changes. I don't want to do this, but fitness-wise, Tino's struggling. Wrench is going to come on. Gvardio's playing very well, and he's struggling. Chaser playing very well and struggling. We're going to do Almada, I think, coming on. Milik's going to come off for Wahi. I like Wahi. I don't know about you, but I like Wahi. I think he's a good player for us. I think he's definitely going to be good for a few seasons. Wrench is throw. Back to Elmas, apparently. Wrench gets it back. Fagioli crosses. Vlahovic is there. He's hit the post. It's gone in. The flag stays down. Is it going to be 2-0? It is going to be 2-0. The goal has been awarded. It's a Fagioli assist. Vlahovic with the goal. And that should put this result beyond any shadow of a doubt. It's a throw to, I assume, the Wahi injury. We're keeping the pressure on, though. Fagioli collects it, gets some space, tries to go for goal, and he's hit the bar. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous, the amount of times we've hit the woodwork in this match. Four minutes of injury time. Can we get a third? Can we get ourselves a third? Almada goes for a run himself towards the penalty area, loses out to Lozano. Cleared it, but Wrench gets it for us. Scalvini and Danso. Locatelli, left-hand side, Gvardio just passes it straight to Stanisic. Osherman loses out, Locatelli's there, loses out himself though. Gvardio intercepts, passing is poor, isn't it? What is going on? Vlahovic's ball, Kulusevski's not going to bother running for it. Wrench is going to get there, yes he does. Kulusevski again on the right-hand side, three in the box, if he can cross it in, he does. Vlahovic down, it's a penalty. We are going to get our own penalty, Deme fouling Locatelli by the looks of it. Vlahovic is just loitering, trying to pick that ball up, ready to take the penalty. It is going to be a pen. Is it going to be 3-0? Vlahovic is the man to step up. This is, I think, maybe like his eighth or ninth penalty of the season. Vlahovic blasts it into the back of the net. It's 3-0 against Napoli. 47 goals this season. I think he's going to hit 50. And we've managed to hit three more points. An 8.2 from Karneshi, an 8.2 from Gvardiol, an 8.8 .8 for the brace from Vlahovic as well. That was a good, that was a very good performance. And with that, we've qualified for the Champions League, but we kind of expected that anyway. We've got 64 million or 63 and a half million pound transfer budget to spend. Interesting, very interesting. And the league table looks like this. Still only five points between us and and Milan there are what is that is it six five games left to play five league games left to play let's do some very quick maths here do some very quick maths we could win the league by there in the Spezia game we could win the league if Milan drops some points hopefully we don't have to play the Milan game with the title on the line hopefully it's all sorted at that point and we can just play Milan with no worries in the world. We're going to go forward. We're going to play the home... or the, Sorry, the away leg against PSG. And hopefully not embarrass ourselves. Right then, PSG time. This is going to be tough. This is going to suck as well. Because I feel like we're going to lose this one. It's going to be Karneshi in goal. Who, by the way, is one clean sheet away from equaling Gigi Buffon's record of most clean sheets in the season. We've still got like seven or eight games left to play. Karneshi, Wrench, Scalvini, Gvardio and Vina in defence. McKenny and Locatelli in midfield. Kulusevski, Chaser, Vlahovic, Milik. This has kind of been our settled lineup for a while now, particularly since Bremer's injury. Although Bremer, he's on the bench now. He's probably not going to come off it. Right, we just need to make sure that we don't embarrass ourselves here. I'm expecting a defeat, but I think we are good enough to get a draw here. I've said that before, and... It's failed miserably. I think last season was against Man City and we got absolutely spanked by them. So I'm imagining PSG are going to do something very similar. 20 minutes on the clock. PSG with the ball. I don't know what Milik was trying there, but fair enough. He tried something. Milik does get the ball. Locatelli. Vigna down the line towards Chaser. He's going to go for a run. In the middle is Weston McKenney. Right hand side is Wrench. Vlahovic gets it to Wrench eventually. Down the line. Can we whip the cross in? It's not the best pass from Wrench. And now PSG can counter-attack. Neymar to Messi. Ball over the top towards Mbappe. Gvardiol just passes it to him as well. Mbappe's effort goes over the bar. That front three is absolutely frightening, isn't it? It's ridiculous that that's a real starting front three. With Neymar, Mbappe and then Messi as well. Although Messi on this is going to be getting on a bit more. We're basically a season and a half in from where we are in real life. 
It's Messi again, ball on the ground towards Mbappe. He uses his pace to get past everybody. And Gvardiol, very sensibly, stuck a leg out to slow the shot down. What are we doing here? Nothing. Good. If we manage to get past PSG, which is a massive, massive if, Man City are currently in the driving seat for our opponents in the final. They are 3-2 up in the other match. Hakimi's in on goal. His effort goes over the bar. I don't think he was ever going to score from that angle. Donnarumma with a goal kick. So we've clearly got the ball near their goal. Donnarumma to Marquinhos. Now Danilo. Ball forward to Rice. Neymar. He's going to go for a run. Long ball forward towards Mbappe. Karneshi came out and it was a clever thing to do. It stopped Mbappe from getting the chance. It is going to be a corner though. Neymar's the man to take it. From the left towards Danilo at the back post. Mbappe collects it. Kulusevski's trying to keep up with him. It's Danilo again. Mbappe in. Vigna clears. Milik collects. Get the ball down the line or end the highlight. One of the two. Locatelli loses out, but Chaser collects it. Vlahovic, are we going to do some form of magical counter-attack? Wrench passes to Neymar. Vlahovic, luckily for us, stops it. And now it's back with PSG. Oh, every time they get the ball, I'm worried. Because this highlight's carried on and it's gone on for a while, so something might be happening. Declan Rice to Messi. Gvardio intercepts the pass. Messi's just trying to do through balls. That's all he's doing. Just trying to do through balls, use Mbappe's pace. Milik plays it back. Kulusevski's in on goal. And we've taken the lead. We've not taken the lead. The flag goes up. We're getting VAR, but it is going to be disallowed because I assume it was Kulusevski was the man to run offside. But we show that we can do something if we need to. We're seeing the free kick from the offside. Not great. Marquinhos to Rice. Ramos, the 38-year-old. McKenney gets this though for us. Ball upfield towards our goal scorer, Kulusevski. Behind his wrench, does use him. Locatelli in the middle. Plays it all the way across. Vinu with acres of space. He's gone forward towards Milik and can't get it over the defence. And now PSG can do something and build. Marquinhos' ball. Neymar heads down for Mbappe. Mendes with space to run into. And we've just let him run into it. Scalvini was the man there making the mistakes. Carneshi with the save. Half time, it's nil nil. PSG have an XG of 2, and it is nil-nil because they've only had two shots on target. Karneshi's had to save two things. Into the second half, we've done no changes. Our strikers are where our problems are, and I don't think it's necessarily their fault. I just don't think they're getting the ball. Kulusevski's there. Chase is there. We've taken the lead. What's happened? I don't know what happened there. We've taken the lead against PSG out of absolutely nothing. I think they just balls up the clearance, didn't they? So Kulusevski, I don't think, got it. Hakimi just headed across. Chaser was there to just pick up the pieces. Puts it in the back of the net. We are 1-0 up against PSG. This is the worry, though, because last time this happened against Man City, where we beat them in the first leg, we got spanked in the second leg. Denzel Dumfries to Danilo. Now Rice to Marquinhos. They've got every single outfield player in our half by a fair distance as well. Mendes to Neymar to Messi, Karneshi with a save. I think Messi was offside. Yes, he was, so we get the free kick anyway. Right, we need to do some changes. I'm assuming we've got three breaks in play, so we're going to use them wisely. Right, Milik is going to come off while he's going to come on. We're also going to do Kulusevski off for Almada. Wrench with a throw. Almada collects it. Wrench crosses in. Vlahovic is there, can't get his header on target. In fact, I think Dumfries was the man. It's Marquinhos... Clears it not very well. Wah, wow, he faced away from goal. And it's fallen to Thiago Almada. And it's 2-0 against PSG. What is going on? What is actually going on? Completely against the run of play for both goals now. We are 2-0 up. They've just done some changes. They brought on Vitinha and Ansu Fati. I mean, that's ridiculous. I was about to do some subs. But we'll wait to see what comes of this highlight. Wrench steals the ball away and passes it back to Karneshi. Are we now in the ascendancy here? Vlahovic collects it but gets tackled straight away by Vitinha. Kimpemba pass back to Rice. Vlahovic has nicked it. Make it three. Make it three, Vlahovic. How have you not scored there? We have a corner. Can we get something from it? One of our goal scorers, Almada, is the man to take it. It's towards the front post. It's cleared. Chaser keeps it alive. Almada again was offside. Substitution break number two. A Locatelli coming off. They recommend Pogba. No, we'll do Fagioli, I think. Also, Vlahovic for Marcos Leonardo. We've got one more break to use our subs in. And I honestly have no idea who we're going to do. It's going to definitely just be a time-wasting sub in a minute. Scalvini's picked up a yellow card. Free kick for PSG in a very good position. Messi's the man over it. Curling effort. 
It's saved by Karneshi as well. McKenney can clear the ball. And the highlight's carrying on. I thought the highlight was going to stop. Mendes with it. Ball forward. Scalvini gets there first. That's a red card for Fabian. Surely. That's a straight red. It is a straight red. PSG are down to 10 men. Because they're, they're getting frustrated. That's what's happening. Wrench is going to be the man to come off. Tino's going to come on. Final substitution. We've got four minutes of injury time. We've, in theory, won the match. At this point, we've won the match. We have won the match. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. PSG were the better side for most of the game until we nicked the two goals. All we needed was two chances, and we took those chances. Now we just need to not lose at home. The more I look at this the more I think we could win the quadruple. We could actually win the quadruple. I know the PS5 Super Cup probably people don't care about, but I care about it, damn it. We're top of Syria. Coppa Italia final. Champions League semi-final with a 2-0 lead after the first leg. We're going to go forward. We're going to play Verona in the league, and then we'll come back for the second leg of the PSG game. Oh, my word. I'm, I do, I'm, I'm having flashbacks. I'm having flashbacks to last season. So we're not quite at the second PSG game, but looking at the fixtures right now for Serie A is massively interesting. We have just played Verona, beat them 3-0. Eli Wahi with a hat-trick. I dropped Vlahovic fully from the squad because basically he, he needs a rest. And I thought, it's, it's Verona. We should be able to beat them. Milan versus Napoli. This could be a title decider and we're not even involved. What's happened? What's going to happen? Come on. Come on, Napoli. Come on, Napoli. Or a draw. A draw would be fine. What's happened? I mean, I've just clicked continue again. Have they even played yet? What's the... Oh, my word, Napoli. Napoli, you absolute heroes. We are eight points clear with four games left to play in the league. Eight points clear with four games left to play. Which means looking at our remaining fixtures... We need to win one more game? Two more games. If we beat Roma and Spezia, we have won the league. Who have Milan got? I know we won the league last season, but this seems to be so much more intense, doesn't it? They've not conceded a goal for an entire month and then let in three. They've got Verona, which you'd expect them to win, and then Atalanta. So, right, I know we're not there yet, but next episode is going to be... Probably us playing the Coppa Italia final, Spezia, and Fiorentina and maybe a Champions League final. I don't know. Next episode, we might win three things if we can get past PSG. Let's go and do that first. I don't think we've done any changes. We may have done one change, actually. So, Carneshi Livermento, I think, is the one change coming in for Wrench. Although, Wrench, was he a sub? I can't remember. It's Basically, it's the same team that played the last match. It's exactly the same team... And I'm hoping we just don't... If we don't lose, we're through to a Champions League final. I said this this time last season as well when we got knocked out by Man City. A sensible manager would change a tactic to try and be more defensive. I think I might try that if PSG score a goal. Six minutes on the clock, vigna has been sent off for two yellow cards. Are you actually joking me? Are you... Oh, I wasn't sure whether to start you or not. And you've got sent off after... Six minutes. You've been booked twice in six minutes. We literally don't have a backup tactic, so we're going to have to just make one on the fly. Uh, control possession, I guess. We're just going to go for that. We Bear in mind, we're a man down. So what do we even go for here? We could go for that. I say go for that, but what do we do? Like, well, <laughs> we, we've, got no, we've got no... We've only got... Like, we haven't got enough defenders. Right, it's going to be boring, but I think we might go for route one. Uh, no, don't save that. We'll go route one. We need a left back, which means probably Milik, unfortunately, is going to lose out. And we're going to just do... We've got no left backs. I've not put him in the right place. Hold on. They recommend Wrench, although we can do Gvardiol there and we can do Danso or Bremer. We'll do Bremer. He's still not fully match fit. This is not going to work. This is definitely not going to work. Well, the good news is at least I have a scapegoat, haven't I? If we don't go through to the final, I now have a scapegoat and it's Mateus Wiener. 25 minutes in, and so far the only thing to happen is that Vina red card. Mendes has gone off injured. We are nullifying this entire game by the looks of it. Donnarumma, big kick upfield from the goal kick. Locatelli with it for us. Needs to hold up play because we've only got Vlahovic to aim for, and we found him. Vlahovic's control tucks it away. 10-man Juventus. 
are 1-0 up against PSG playing Route 1 football. It's like Sam Allardyce has learned Italian. What's going on? We're still not quite at half time. We are five minutes over the uh, 45 of the three minutes of injury time as well. Messi collects it for PSG. Long range effort over the bar. It's going to be 1 0 to Juve at half time. And if we can pull this off, we are the greatest manager in football manager history. They've also just picked up a second injury. Kurzawa has gone off injured. They've taken off Mbappe as well. They've used three subs already. Neymar with a corner towards the back post. Gavardio, not Gavardio, not even sure who it was. It's in the hands of Karneshi from the Ansu Fati effort. It is still 1-0. Although, second half, we're only 10 minutes in and PSG are starting to get in their groove a little bit. Neymar kicks it straight into one of our players. Now Livramento holds up play. This is what we like to see. When we have the ball, we need to slow it down. Scalvini to Vlahovic to McKenney. We need Vlahovic a little bit further forward as you're the literal target man. It's cleared by Ramos. Declan Rice over the top towards Fatty. Dinks it over the keeper. It's 1-1. Let's hope that doesn't open the floodgates. Let's hope that does not open the floodgates. We've still got a two-goal buffer. Ball forward. Scalvini clears for us. It's straight forward again, though. Neymar collects it. Fatty to Rice. Declan Rice hits it just wide of the post. It's 1-1. PSG are just going to start throwing everything forward, aren't they? Ball upfield towards Fatty again. Karneshi stops that, possibly with his face. Livermento and Scalvini combining to clear it. It's not cleared far enough. Neymar curling effort goes wide. Still 1-1. We're currently playing on balance, which I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. I don't know if we should try and change that to defensive. Right, time's disappearing. Slowly, but it is disappearing. We're going to do another change. Um, I need the team sorted. There we go. Right, Chase is going to come off. Pogba's going to come on as a left winger. Uh, or not even a left winger, a left midfielder. What else do we do? Do we do anything? I don't think we do, although I am very tempted to shut up shop, take off Vlahovic, and just go five at the back. We might, if PSG score again, we may do that. I think we're only allowed one more break, so if we do any more subs, we have to do them all in one go. We've got ten minutes to play. Messi with a free kick for PSG. It's fallen to Kempemba, and it goes wide of Karneshi's post. Final ten minutes. Time is flying by. I'm going to hold out until the last minute before we do our subs. Right, here we go. We're just going to do as many subs as we can. This is our final stoppage, isn't it? Do we go five at the back? I think we do. I genuinely think we go five at the back. No, not Bremer as a target for. Go in the gap. There we go. Right. So we are going to take off Vlahovic for Danso, I guess. We've got no attacking options whatsoever. Maybe we do that. Maybe we stick Kulosevsky out there as an inside forward on attack. So he might kind of tuck into that space. I mean, Kulosevsky is also ready for bed. So we'll take you off as well. We'll do... I think we'll do... No, we'll do Wahi. We'll do Wahi. He can come on. Is that all of our subs? No, we've got one more. It's going to be McKenny for Fagioli. More because McKenny's booked. And I don't want us to go down to nine men. Even though it's only going to be for a couple more minutes. It is Kempemba with the free kick. Rice. To Sola, back to Rice, Scalvini and Livermento, back to Carneshi. There is nobody up there, but that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Fatty collects it, crosses it, Bremer, big kick upfield. This is what the next two minutes are just going to be, isn't it? Back to the wall defending, long range effort from Marquinhos, goes over the bar. We are going to a Champions League final, thanks to somehow... Beating PSG at home and then a 1-1 draw away. Vigna is a lucky, lucky boy. So in the final episode of the Juve save, we are in two finals and could possibly win the league. We are going to Wembley as well. Okay, fair enough. I don't have far to travel in the grand scheme of things. It's still a fair distance. We are also in the FIFA Club World Cup. Okay, when does this happen? May 2025. It's the first time it's been held since... 2021 apparently okay fair enough but we're in the club world cup that's that's new and our opponents in the final will be man city just only just but it is manchester city and they have a couple of former juve players don't they i don't know whether they're still there danilo is still there that's not our danilo is it that's a different danilo uh who is it we sold di maria at 36 still there not really playing quadrado we know is still there and playing because he literally just scored. He's played 29 times. I mean, he's still good, isn't he? I don't know why I didn't like him. I think he's just too old. So the next episode then, I genuinely don't know what it's going to be because 
in theory, we can win the league from that Roma game. Could we not? With eight points clear, if Milan lose their next game and we beat Roma, we are champions because we'll be 12 points clear with only nine games left to play. Milan will be playing Verona the same day that we are playing Roma. So I am going to make a decision after I know what that result is. I'm expecting Milan to win. So next episode, it's not medical center, next episode then is likely to be Spezia or Sassuolo, sorry. So we're definitely going to have the Coppa Italia final, Sassuolo, and then maybe Spezia. And that is where we could win the league, and in theory should win the league. And then we'll also have the Champions League final, because, you know, why not? Let's win the treble in three matches. Thank you very much for watching this one. If you did enjoy, like I did, click the like button, hit the subscribe button as well for more Football Manager videos, and I'll be back next time where we'll win the treble.